Count yourself blessed. If you are still here and you have your family members still here, nobody passed away, thank you, Jesus. I'm not going to knock on wood, but I'm just going to give God his praise and honor that he deserves for keeping us. What's up, my love bugs and love muffins? It's Mama Love. Welcome back to my channel. And I am here with a meal prep for you all. I had made um, some power bowls, and I'm going to show you the ingredients that I make make them with, I'm sorry. And I'm also going to show you how quick it is and how you don't really have to season it because I'll let the meat itself, it'll, you know, maybe the meat is already seasoned, but you see how it's done. There's a lot of stuff going on in the background because I just got done cleaning some greens. So we back on this meal prep, you all. So to pan all that money and stuff for somebody to prep your meal, this is basically what they do. I'm going to show you right here. All right. So, um, the kids love the turkey, smoked turkey Eckert sausage. Um, here are my black beans. I'm using my black beans. Um, I'm using, um, uh, brown rice. Minute Maid brown rice, okay? I'll make a whole box of that. Um, I found out a box of that makes 10 trays. Um, also, I have my, um, chunky guacamole that I put in and my diced um, tomatoes and onions. Um, I have two of those. Um, I also have um, the cilantro salsa. Um, I have my mozzarella cheese and my light sour cream. So it's gonna be the corn with the black beans and brown rice and your meat, which is gonna be the turkey and acreage. Okay, and then I have my shredded lettuce that's going on in with the cold ingredients. So these are the cold ingredients where the cheese could be hot too, but these are my cold ingredients that I'm using for the power bowl. This is everything you all that, uh, my kids, they go to Chipotle's and this is everything that be in their bowl. And I was like, I can make this. So watch me prep this right quick. It ain't gonna take long at all. So y'all can stay at the, rest, the restaurant uh, Chipotle because that's what I'm trying to do. I'm staying out of the restaurant so far, so good. And also, um, you just don't have to use turkey, Eckert sausage. It's just that the kids like it or whatever. But I, I, I use also uh, shrimp bowls and um, I use uh, grilled chicken bowls. So just, yeah, stay tuned. Okay, so that's got a top on it because that's simmer and that'll be good finished in no time. Over here, I got my black beans going and I'm going to Oh, turn that on. I ain't got them on. Got them on now. And really, I really don't season this, y'all. But this is, uh, I can't believe it's not butter. I'm going to go ahead and put it over. Some of this is scoop. Look, a little scoop. Just a, a little scoop probably because I'm putting a lot of corn in there. This is for my corn, you all. So. And I filled a skillet. Say that's enough right now. I'm gonna show y'all what I use. It's a best seller at Sam's Club, you all. It is garlic and herb with butter and sea salt. The only thing I really season is my corn. I don't season the black beans. I don't season the uh, rice, but I season my corn, sea salt, garlic herbs. That's it. Doesn't help if you do that. Don't help. I mean hurt. It doesn't hurt if you do that, but I really just like to season the corn. It tastes so good, y'all. And um, like I said, the meat itself is going to be really, you let your meat be your seasoning for your power bowls. And also, you know, when that guacamole come together and your sour cream and your tomatoes and all of that. And what I do is I go ahead and slice these into serving sizes because in each bowl, you all, I put 10, I put 10 in each power bowl now um, if I had a chicken breast I will put a whole chicken breast in each power bowl because you know that's your amount of meat that is measured out okay Take all my meat off I put it over in the air fryer and I have it on 400 already and I'm gonna turn it on about 15 minutes 
on my air fryer. Okay, so here we are. The black beans, the brown rice, the corn. I got my guacamole, my tomatoes and onions, my cilantro salsa. I have my sour cream. I have my mozzarella cheese and my lettuce. I'm gonna make up these bowls so fast y'all. Now they measure, I measure them out, okay? The spoon, the spoon of rice, okay? Come on over here, Tina, take over. All right. <laughs> spoon of rice. So I got, I put my spoon of rice in. Dang, I wanna add some more, but I can't. I got my spoon of beans. Because remember y'all, these are meal preps. These are, these are preps, okay? And, and so we're doing this because uh, I measured my, my corn. This corn was good, y'all. I added chicken broth to it and uh, I let it fry a little bit. Mm -hmm. And uh, actually, I forgot my spoon. Come on over here, Tina. Uh huh. And I forgot to introduce y'all to the. They like it like that, y'all. I like it like that, baby. Okay. And so, what I do is. Jesus. Why didn't I get. You know what? I'm going to use my corn. <laughs> Excuse me. Why didn't I get married? Uh -uh. I'm gonna use my corn and I'm gonna, that's about one, two, three, four, five. Put a little, girl, put a little meat in there, One, girl. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, <laughs> Don't be scared. All right, I'm gonna put 12. Put a I give y'all 12, more. okay? That's the first one that I have made up. Now make them up so fast, you all. I just wanted to show y'all the first tray on how I do it. Okay, and then I come over here to the topping station. I'm gonna put my guacamole. Now I'm not gonna do this for this is a this is Tina. She's eating this tonight. Period. Now when I make up the trays tonight, I'm only doing the hot. I'm only doing the cold because I'm showing you an example of what I do. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I already got my guac. And then let me get my yes. little salsa over here uh -huh. because we measuring it, y'all. Okay. And so then we got. Our lettuce. You yes. don't take not even minutes to like warm this up. You don't want too, mm -hmm. too much lettuce. And then you want your cheese. Scoop full. That's it. That's it. You ain't getting no more. Mm. But cheese. And then the last but least, we got our sour cream. Oh, our light, uh -huh. I use light sour cream. I don't want to hear that. That's fat. Uh, light sour cream. And usually I put it like this because what the kids do is they mix it. They take and mix all that up anyway, mm -hmm. honey. And so Tina, I'm gonna hold this camera. Tina gonna grab that fork and she gonna show y'all how she mixed it up. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's how she, that's how they mix there. So that's why I make it like that, wherever I place it, whatever, but you all, I, I love to do this. This is fast and it's quick. Mm, that look good. It's, it ain't gonna take me no more than five minutes to fill all these trays. you all I couldn't help myself I had to go ahead and make them up because if Tina and Terrell goes back in they're not gonna measure out that uh, guacamole uh, well and they're not gonna um, measure out you know they're just not gonna measure out the sour cream and 
and tomatoes and lettuce and mozzarella cheese. And I don't want them overdoing it. You know what I'm saying? So I got it measured out and things. I got some more to make up. I have several containers. Um, these are the tops right here. And like I said, I had made them uh, all last week. You could add different things to them. Like I said, different meat. Um, but my kids seem to love these, so I make these up for them. Uh, me as well. Um, next, I'm going to do it with the... I don't mess with uh, uh, shrimp anymore. Or... Uh, uh, crab meat I just I just don't because I, I I believe truly that is the reason why uh, my leg had swelled up like it did and by me uh, I'm gonna tell y'all after I put these tops on what's what's going on and the tops are on good Tina put these two tops on these make sure they cup pop, pop snap on there please and that's that's the meal prep so I'm not finished but I just did enough for the video okay you all this is what I wanted to share with you all um, I have uh, meal preps. Uh, I know the kids probably, you know what I'm saying, they can go to Chipotle and all that. And like I was saying, you can make up your own. But this is the thing is why, you know, I know the Lord is dealing with me um, to cook at home. Because you all, I have been going to restaurants ever since uh, I stayed in Alabama. And I, I wasn't realizing it, but I mean, I would cook every now and then. I would make, you know, some cooking videos and um, I would, um, you know, I would do it to make a video or whatever. And um, holidays, uh, I don't believe in uh, going to no restaurants, for, especially Thanksgiving. You know, that's how you all got the, the turkey and the dressing, you know, videos and the mac and cheese and everything. And um, I got some greens over my crock pot now. But I want to tell you, the Lord has been really dealing with me. He's really been setting me in order, getting order in my life because um, everything was just out of order. And, you know, it's just, you know, it's. You know, it's a lot of things that we don't pay attention to um, while we're going through things and maybe um, throughout the day or whatever. And um, you don't realize as time goes past, I realized, wow, I, 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 I eat out more than I cook at home. And God has blessed me with a beautiful home. God has blessed me with a beautiful kitchen. You know, I have plenty of room in this kitchen. This kitchen is big. I have my island. I have everything to set up on, you know, to cook at home. I have food in my freezer, you all. It's food that I, I, I go out and I shop for, and I have a, a, a refrigerator full of food. And I'm out, and when I was out and about all the time, I was always stopping at restaurants to go on, go on somewhere to eat for recreation. Um, just because maybe I was out shopping at the time and I was like, oh God, I didn't got hungry. You know, I have to stop and get something to eat, something like that. But the Lord has really been really, really slowing me down. And I thank God, hallelujah, for order. I thank God for order. Um, and so um, he's been dealing with me on the restaurant. I'm telling y'all, my ankle, I believe what happened was um, when they said it was rheumatoid arthritis, I still don't accept it in my spirit. Um, but because it's whatever I eat, they say it's not gout. Um, they say it's uh, rheumatoid arthritis, but uh, it, it's based on what I eat. So if I eat something salty, that ankle swells, you know, not as bad as it used to, but because I'm not eating all the processed food. So I believe over the years, you don't know what they putting in that food at the restaurants, MSG and uh, all kinds of, uh, you know, the way they season their food and processed food. So this is why this has happened. I noticed that ever since I've been cooking at home and measuring out my own, I really don't cook with seasonings anymore. Less this um, pepper um, and garlic herbs, like I said, a little sea salt and or um, some Mrs. Dash, and then I'll leave it alone. But I noticed that drinking plenty of water, you know, leaving the, um, the beverages alone a lot has really helped me, you know, in that area. I'm sorry, you all, I had to clear some footage, I just can't. So it went off um, and uh, my train of thought, my train of thought, where was I at? So anyway, um, eating more healthy, I feel a lot better in my body um, and I save a lot of my money. But I was just like, I'm not gonna say being reckless, not, that's not the word, reckless with it, not caring with it. Like, oh, I'll just blow this on this and I'll blow it on that and I'll just, you know, and not, you know, thinking that I'm getting, I'm eating what I want, but I'm not healthy. I'm not, and I don't want to be like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm 51 years old. 
and um, and knock it off with the elderly jokes. Okay, I'm not I'm not old. Okay, but you know I, I want to be to where you know I'm I'm healthy. I'm not I'm at the age now though. I used to always think about I have to you know I want to get down. I want to get in my clothes, but I'm not thinking that way. Now I'm thinking about my health. This ankle has done something to me. It really has changed my whole thought process. I was praying to the Lord for healing you know healing and actually some things that you know we cause we do on ourselves. you know we, we cause on ourselves. um and so the lord was like you healed already it's just but the basically what you putting in your body you know so you know he was just showing me a lot of things and you know and making me aware of it you know self-awareness like look what you're doing look what you're doing look what you're buying look what you you know and so going to the store and going shopping and everything food does not get wasted i had meat in there on um, frozen meat that probably been in there for months but we know it's all good but i'm just saying it's been in there for months because i haven't cooked you know so and and for my kids and and all of us like i said you know when you're going through things in life y'all y'all stop and take the time and it's not stress over the problem so much but think about what pay attention to what you're doing to yourself because I wasn't paying attention to what I was doing to my own self. I was hurting myself, you know, because I was hurting, you know, and um, I was trying comfort foods and like I said, emotional eating and everything that I was doing. And um, yeah, I don't mean to make this a real long video, but I just wanted to share that with you all. I have been doing a lot better, feeling a lot better in my body, you know. Um, and so that's why when I have like heart palpitations or anything like that, I'm like, what's going on? Cause I've been eating healthy. That's the first thing I think about. But you know, black beans give you gas. <laughs> I got acid reflux, so that's what happens. Shut up, Tina. And so I am going to, uh, Tina is going to drive me over to my mom's house and I'm gonna give her one of these dishes. And um, she wants me to make some up for her. But that's another time but i'm going to bring this to her before it gets too late i hope that you all enjoyed this video though i have other videos to come and um you know show you what all i can cook or what i mean what how you can you know prep up some meals like i i got some frozen green peppers and uh red and yellow peppers in that freezer i got them all sliced up already and i threw them in the freezer so they don't go bad you know and i got some shrimp in there and um i'm thinking about some brown rice like hmm yeah, I can saute that shrimp or that chicken, those chicken breasts or whatever, and I can put the green peppers over in it, you know, the red peppers, yellow, and season it all good, chop some red onions in it, and then turn around and put some brown rice on the side, make a little, you know, little soft gravy and pour it over there. It's a lot of things that I can do and I can share with you all, plus it helps. So, like I said, <laughs> hope y'all enjoyed this. Like I said, peace out, in Jesus' name, be blessed.